Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank. Today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. We're doing a no hook, no clover, and pricey pelts run. Let's go ahead and hop in and see if we can have some good luck today. Okay, well we have our starting deck. Let's um, go on. Let's uh, We're going to trade in our pelts. Okay, for starters, let's see, what do we want to do? Could try for an ant run. We also have a stinky skunk. I think that we'll take the two of them and see what we can do. If we can get the skunk having some attack power, it may be really powerful actually. So, um, let's see, we got items up there, so we should try to use one up, I suppose. And since we don't really have any... Um, animals picked out yet. We'll uh, go over here to the pyre instead. Like I said, let's put the skunk on the power up. Let's see if we can get it strong. Oh, well, we lost it. So <laughs> I guess we'll just keep running. See what happens. I'll try to use up um, at least an item or two to uh, make room for our item picking later on. Okay, well, we got a worker ant that we can put down, so we're just going to put it right there. Alright, and we can get our stoat on the run. We're going to be evenly matched until we can get our wolf on the board. time. I think it's uh, about to be over. There we go. Just what we needed. Didn't get any excess though, so I don't think it will be able to get anything but the one pelt. Alright, there we go. Let's keep running. Should have tried to use more items or held on to what I had since I uh, would have got a pack rat. Oh well. We're having kind of a funny run, so maybe we'll do uh, two rounds today to uh, supplement things. There we go. Oh, I wonder if he's going to swarm us with bees. Bullfrog to come up against us. Interesting. Okay, we will uh, deploy our wolf now. Got our humble stoat. Didn't need it. Guess we'll head towards the wood carver next. Let's get a beehive. Hopefully we can uh, buff it up so that it keeps producing uh, more bees. Alright, um, that's not a super nice sigil. I think we'll go with um, our canine head here instead. really like the different effects that they have on Leshy's face, like him you know, just disappearing in the shadow just now. That's pretty cool. Alright, Kingfishers are gonna be a problem, so might as well leave the beehive alone and um, block them, perhaps, with our bullfrog. And, um, yeah, we'll just go from there. Okay, let's uh, say we get our stoat down next. Oh, the river otter is incoming. That might be a problem. Hey, we got a beehive of our own now, so we could get some bees. They're always handy to have around.
Okay. Oops, need to draw a card. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get a B on the board. All right, another B. And a worker yet. Excellent. Um, let's put the worker ant over here in front of the beehive, and I'll put the bee in front of the river otter. That'll block the damage at least. Okay. Now we can have our wolf. Um, let's see. We'll put our bee down and sacrifice the two of them to just get this on the front. That'll put down more um, force on the board overall and win the match. Okay, let's see if we can get us either a gold pelt or some sort of nice card. We'll go left this time. Hey, a mantis. Nice. And two opportunities for power-ups. Alright, health boost. Um, let's do it on the beehive. Be nice to get up to four bees. That's four cards that we could generate with that one now. So that's pretty cool. Alright, some power. Let's see. I want to go with the mantis. Okay, I don't want to risk it being burnt up, so we'll go ahead and continue on. Maybe this will make up for losing the uh, skunk in an opening. Alright. I think having the angler as an early boss isn't too terrible. It's uh, having him as a later boss is really difficult. So hopefully this will be alright. Uh, let's see. Could put it down in the smoke and save up for something else, or just go ahead and get a bullfrog on the board. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Um, this will save up, and we'll have them pull smoke over. Okay, and let's see, I think we have enough now to get our wolf on the board. Okay, there we go. Now the trick is, is he's going to put a bait bucket in front of him, so I probably need a sacrifice um, in order to be out of that lane. Hopefully it'll work. I think he tends to deploy another one though, so that's the tricky part. May have to cut a card here in a minute. Alright, our mantis is upon us. Um, let's see. Now it does have two attack damage, so I can theoretically put it there and take out the shark. And I think it'll still come out doing just fine on our um, damage, so we could take a tooth and win it right away actually, I believe, because the stoat and the mantis together are going to exceed it for sure. There we go. Nice. Oh, a mantis god and a strange larva. Hmm. I guess I'm going to go with mantis god. Hopefully we'll get us a uh, nice woodcarver set for our insects. Okay. I feel like I don't need autumns that bad. Um, so let's do cave challenge and then a fire. Um, that'll be good. 
sigils, heart, bone. Sigils feels like a weak one. Bone is pretty bad too. Heart doesn't look too great either. Hmm. Have to get like a near perfect draw. If we got the beehive, we'd be pretty lucky. We definitely can't get bone. Three sigils, we only have four sigils total, so I guess let's go with heart. Uh, oh, just one short. Okay then. That was a stretch on all of them though, unfortunately. All right, who are we gonna get some power to? How about our mantis god? Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and back away from that. It's a fair amount of damage to gain, I think. A coyote, a rabbit, and a porcupine. Hmm. Perhaps I could play the Mantis God in the midst of all of that. Okay. And maybe I'll put the Porcupine or the Beehive in front of the Porcupine in the next turn. But actually it's going to win right away. <laughs> uh, okay then. So I could duplicate a card or I could go the route of powering something up. Um, I think I'll look for a bone card and go the duplication route. Ah, uh, okay. Just blood across the board. Let's go for a three. We spuck. Got it. Okay. Time to do a semester piece here. Who do we want? Hmm. I think a mantis god makes the most sense. If I could combine them and have four and two health, that would just be amazing. Oh, five and two perhaps. Nice. Ooh, excellent. Looks like I can win this round again, just immediately. Get four excess teeth as well. Awesome. All right, there's a sigil swap and a wood carver, and let's see a cave challenge opportunity. I feel like sigil swap could come later. I don't get to a combination, and I could swap them. Um, or I could take the Mance's bifurcation and item and put it on, say, the wolf or the worker ant, perhaps. Um, either of those sound, you know, enticing. But I think I'd rather go to the wood carver and then do another cave challenge. Okay, um, let's take this and maybe we'll put it on the Mantis God or something. Oh yeah, perfect. Um, don't necessarily want either of these though, so let's take the uh, insect head for now. Okay, looks like we could have our mantis down and uh, it'll do a fair amount of damage right away, so looks like it's a great choice to start. And we got some bones that we can use. Okay. Let's put down... I think I'll save the beehive until the next round. So we can have the uh, wolf hit at a time or two. Uh-oh. Now we're running into some trouble. So... The Mantis God can take out the wolf though, so we'll go ahead and have it do so. And it may be close to the end of the match for it anyway, so let's see what happens. I think that's it. I think we just won. Okay. 
mantises are really coming in clutch today. All right, four blood sounds like. Hmm, close to our best bet. We have a lot of one blood, so definitely can't win on the bone front. Six health sounds risky, so. How many four blood ways can we do this? We have to have the moose buck or the um, wolf as part of that draw. So I want to go with health because the moose buck could win it alone. There we go. All right. Looks like I made a good choice. Okay. Um, let's see, we have a spiky and worthy sacrifice. Bifurcation with airborne um, or mighty leap. A leader and a corpse eater. I think we're going to take that. That would be nice. I have something that auto deploys and serves as an alpha, basically. All right, what do we have? Burrowing. Um, we have waterborne. That's it. I think waterborne is just so dangerous because um, I mean they'll stay there, but getting attacked directly really stinks. So. Hmm. I'd like to put that on, but I'm always afraid that my creatures will march into trouble, so let's just get in our head for now, I guess. Okay. Now, for the fungi, I could combine our mantis gods, and it would be very powerful with 15 damage in one sweep. Um, I think that makes the most choice, or most uh, sense, because getting the items just won't be a big help. Okay. There we go, five and two. Still not super strong, but if I can get it to just play for one round, it would be a huge impact. I mean, this is enough to take out the pack mule in one turn. It's crazy. Okay. I think that we'll lay down the smoke so the coyote will have something to uh, chomp on. And could get the raven egg in front of the pack mule, but kind of like to save up for the wolf. I need to take out the uh, upcoming wolf cub or else I'll be in trouble. So let's go ahead and set that up. Bullfrog. Well, that's not gonna help much. Um, I think I'll put down the rabbit pelt to block the coyote. Oh, now we have a wolf incoming. So, what should we do? What should we do? I think we'll have to cut that wolf. Um, the bullfrog can take out the coyote. And. Together, we'll get plus three and then we'll cut the wolf. Oh, the mole blocked it for us. Totally missed that was going to happen, so that's great. Okay, um, the mole should get hit by the wolf and we'll get some excess damage on the board. So I'm not going to lay anything down for now. Actually, I could let the raven egg mature, but I'm afraid to get another lane blocked, so let's just start with this for now. Okay, and we'll draw another one of these. Good, good. And the river snapper. Um, hmm. I kind of hate for it to get converted since it will act like an alpha here in a moment. Cody's going to come in here and destroy it though, and the wolf is also going to get destroyed by the wolf cub. So the river sniper could be put on here, and we could take out um, both of these guys. So let's go ahead and do something like. Hmm, how much damage do we need? One, two, three. 
Well, they're going to do enough damage anyway, so might as well let it happen, I guess. Perfect. I'm going to have a gold nugget that's going to fight back. <laughs> um, that's funny. I don't know if I've ever had that happen personally. A mantis. It's going to give us an item as well. Um, let's see if we can get... We'll start by getting our raven egg on the board. Okay, I think that's game over because that's going to be four on the board and he won't be able to recover from that. So let's just get our mantis on and uh, we'll destroy the pack mule just to add salt to the wound. That's the end of it. <laughs> I think that may be the first time I've destroyed the uh, pet mule on the very last turn before winning. Um, so that was interesting. I didn't use a single card from it. Ooh, another Mantis God. We could just keep buffing it up. That would put us at 6 and 3. Um, however... I just don't know if that is a whole lot more viable than, say, getting a, an Amalgam or a Yuri Um Let's go with Amalgam because it's just so hard to use those four blood, you know, creatures. I mean, we'd have to wipe out an entire lane or have like a, you know, black goat or something to use. I just think that's really difficult. All right, four blood, six heart, or bone. All right, I think I'm gonna have similar challenges here, but I did get an amalgam and a river snapper. We can't win bone and heart. Um, I think we have a decent chance with that. Um, let's go with blood. Maybe we'll get lucky today. All right, we got it, just barely, but we got it. Thanks, Amalgam. Ooh, interesting. An alpha that's also a bee. And an adder that also has um, the bees within. The bees within. And a moose bucket is unkillable. Imagine getting that combined with our other moose buck. That would be wicked. Um, well, we do need something to use bones with, so I think I want to take this uh, interesting alpha here. And we'll go from there. Now, should we duplicate anything? Um, I am seeing a fungi up there. So it's kind of looking like we could duplicate. And then there is a sigil swap. Don't need to go items. We kind of do need a uh, sigil, though. So I'm a little bit afraid to go up the duplication route. Although we could have a wicked cool Mantis God or two really strong ones. So maybe I will go that route and we'll at least have two strong ones available. Um, i trying to think of if this could backfire. Let's see, our next boss will be the one with the traps. So that's going to be a tricky situation. But we had two of these that can help us disarm, you know, the traps somewhat. At least one lane of them before it dies. Oh, interesting. They have no health? There's like a big splotch. I couldn't tell quite what it had on it. Hmm. Alright, turkey vulture and a mole. Well, let's put a beehive in front of the turkey vulture and we will save up for every other things while we play bees oh and of course that didn't damage it um so that's a problem i had to figure out how to get out of that quickly i think that's going to require snipping to have a chance um let's put a worker ant in front of this and go from there. Okay. 
and the elk fawn can take a hit on our beehive, and that'll be okay. We like bees. And we will play a bee in front of it. And here soon, we will have our amalgam to uh, start turning things up. Oh, that's not good. Forgot that the bee serves as a uh, airborne, so that's tough. Um, amalgam could come down and stop the alpha, thinking that that might be the most important thing for it to do right now, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, cool, the worker ant got boosted by the amalgam being present on the board. I didn't know it would do that. That's neat. It's really neat, actually. That's gonna help me out considerably. And a bullfrog. Okay, I guess it's up to the bee. Alright, I think I've turned this around now. We can uh, trap the elk with the bee. Or we could play some mantis god. And it would take out um, the elk and <laughs> the porcupine. I think it will do that um, for fun. Okay. Nice. Let's see if we can win this another cave challenge. I don't think that we can win the bone challenge at all, since we only have a four bone situation. Four blood or four power. Um, well, we have two mantis gods that could win it right away. I think quite a few ways that that could pan out, so let's try four power. Okay, we got it. That one seems pretty easy. Um, let's see. We have ant spawner. Guardian, and we have many lives, and Bone King. Let's go with the worker ant so that we can keep improving our fleet to them. Alright, sigil swap. Is there somebody we want to sacrifice up for that? Um, hmm. It's interesting that it's not giving us our other mantis. It's not showing up on either of the selections. Oops, there we go. Is it shuffling differently? Almost looked like it gave me different options. No. Okay. Um, well, combining up these two would be really cool. Maybe I'll take the raven egg and give that power to something else. Um, Malcolm comes to mind, but putting on something else that's a little bit weaker, maybe wiser. How about... Hmm. Maybe it would make sense to put it on the Mantis God. So if we had it on this one and it had 6 and 3 and then got combined with that, and it was like 11 and... Four would be awesome, but feeling like there's some situational stuff here I need to consider. Let's put it, let's put it on the wolf. That'll get us another really strong option um, with good viability. All right, we have a stinky now, so that's not good. Um, and a wild bull, it's coming to town. Perhaps this river snapper getting on the board quickly is a good idea. Um, don't have enough to get it going though. Could play a worker ant um, against this uh, porcupine though. And we can put down a rabbit pelt. So let's do something like this. Okay. Alright, good. So, interestingly, the river snapper did not power up the snowy fur. I thought 
everything could be powered up. But I guess not that for some reason. Um, let's see. So we'll get four bo four bones and also as many lives. So should come back, I believe. And we have a mantis. So where could it fit into the game? I guess this is it for now. There we go. Well, now the river snapper activated on the snowy fur. I wonder if it only happens if something moves in front of it, perhaps. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this mantis in front of the... or to the left of the snapper, and it'll be made stronger, too, so... It'll be uh, quite a big hit. So I think the next turn we may actually win this, now that I look at it. Okay, um, I don't think it's going to matter here, so we're going to do 3, 4 damage, so that's all we need. Okay. Perfect. I guess the alpha thing takes a turn to go into effect. Let's get another bone card. There we go. Don't really like the turkey vulture, but hey, it's something, right? Oh, kiss of death. Um, yeah, perfect. Let's put that on our insects. Now we don't have to worry about their strength as much. They'll just kill right away. Nice, nice. Touch of death. I always want to call it kiss of death for some reason. Some reason. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I guess we could get the Mantis God down and it'll just be game over and we'll get 10 excess, uh, damage right away. Game over. This is a pretty insane run. I'm really happy with it. Okay. Here we go. This will be, uh, I guess one of the only chances I'll have to go there, so there'll be a trade at the end that I can trade in for. Alright, who should I try to make stronger? Hmm. Well, that's a hard pick, but huh. I want to say I want to say the uh, the stoat so that it can join the fight in somewhat. I'll try a double boost. Oops. Guess that didn't work. All right, sigil's sacrifice. Who is it gonna be? Hmm. Well. Feeling like I should do something a little bit weird here because I really don't want to sacrifice one of our mantis gods since they're so strong. Um, putting the beehive on the moose buck would be cool and funny, but it's so hard to draw a moose buck in the first place. Um, I think that getting rid of the turkey vulture is feeling kind of like a good idea because it's just not... Not my favorite thing to have. Um, but I'm trying to think if there's anything creative here I could do. I don't really see anything though, because I'm wanting to keep those mantis gods so bad. So, yeah, I guess we'll just sacrifice our turkey vulture. And we're just going to have to be playing the rest of this without any um, possibility of using bone, I guess. And let's put that on our worker ant. It's a really weird combo, but you know how it goes sometimes. You gotta do the event. Alright, fingers crossed. The third boss is always so difficult. I 
Okay. Well, we drew out our alpha right away. That's cool. Um, could get smoke down for one of the frogs to take out. That gets me enough to get the alpha on in the next turn. Um, bullfrog could go after whatever. And the alpha generating bees would be pretty nice as well. So how about we just do something like this and we'll also put down like this I think and this will be okay I think. We'll get the alpha down in the next turn. a mantis god and we could put down if I put the alpha here it would hit the mantis god could make all of these um, go to trap status um, which would be kind of nice I'm trying to think of if there's anything else the alpha could you know generate some bees however like having two bees is sacrifices feels like maybe the right thing to do here so let's uh let's go with this oh well i didn't think about the waterborne preventing the bee generation that's tough um hmm well let's just draw in here, wolf. We really need to see about our uh, damage situation here. I think we're about to be in some trouble. Bullfrog is going to take out that guy, and Mantis God might as well sacrifice here because um, we're going to be in trouble otherwise. Okay. There we go. And think that's just gonna have to be kind of how it goes um, I could hit pretty hard with our wolf but we're gonna have issues um, either way so what can we do I think that we're gonna have to take the risk because I'm just afraid that I won't get enough points on the board otherwise so Let's just get our wolf started. And it's going to grow stronger too, so I'll feel a lot more confident in the situation. Because I don't think it passes on excess health. Yep. Or excess damage, I should say. Yeah. Such a shame it doesn't do that. Okay. Ah, nice. We'll have to put that down next turn. Ah, but it's airborne though. Darn it. Uh, let's see. I think that unfortunately we're gonna lose our worker ant because of that it's just not enough damage. And we're gonna lose our wolf. Oh man. That's not looking good. Okay, we have a beehive we can play. That'll generate us a um couple of bees, but we don't have anything to do here, so we need to block his damage or else we're going to be in big trouble. Here we go. Okay, got us a deadly bee, but it's airborne once again, so it's going to be a problem. Um, we can play it over here to the side or something, but, oh man, I'm just uh, loving my luck here today. <laughs> so let's keep going. I, I forgot about that too, so that's unfortunate. 
Alright, now it's just a race to see how long I can stay in it. Alright, an amalgam. Good. So, that's enough to take out our problem with our wolf. So, let's see. I think that I'm just going to have to sacrifice for it. Oh, we can't sacrifice that. Huh. Oh, it takes two blood. Oh, man. Bad mistake again. Okay. Um, you're going to do a lot of damage, so just have to take it, though. All right. Um, I think it's game over for me, though. I made too many mistakes, I think. Uh, let's see. So I could take out the wolf, but unfortunately, um, just one HP away. So, looks like this is going to be it for this run. Um, the luck is against us here. Okay. Ah. So close. It was feeling like a really good run, too. We'll start up another round here in just a moment. Alright, let's try again. Okay. We'll go with insects another another try with them. And let's go straight for the wood carver. We'll try to focus on getting sigils. I think that was part of my mistake last time was putting it off for too long. Um, I guess let's do, let's do the wolf head. And if we don't get a good body, we'll at least, I mean a good sigil, at least get something that can like boost some other species other than the insects perhaps. Maybe that's the key to winning. Um, let's have like a main but a backup that has sigil boost perhaps. Don't know. It's a wild idea I had. Okay, our mantis should be able to take out the coyote next turn. And be nice to get the ant queen down here in a moment. That'll help us generate a ant. There we go. I think I'll have just enough time to play it, and that'll be it. This should be a winning turn right here. Nice. I even got a tooth out of it. <laughs> Alright. Um, I guess let's make a mad dash for the woodcarver. Ah, beehive. Alright. Still can't believe it. I didn't notice the thing about the uh, weird combo on that alpha that I had with the beehive. Uh, let's see, airborne and air blocking. Neither of those are really that interesting. Um, is there any reason we'd want that? I mean, I guess so bad though because we really need them for damage um got fear that they'll be knocked out too quickly so i guess let's go with blocking so that we can uh, have some sort of sigil combination for now that way when we're in fights it'll, it'll at least do something you know all right we have a pronghorn that's going to come in and it'll move um so, fortunately, the mantis won't last long against that. I could put a stoat in front of it, and it can get us a hit. So, we'll do that. I might play the mantis when it rebounds or something. Or I could play it here, and then it's going to attack the mantis. So, <laughs> next turn. Excuse me.
Yeah. How did it cough? All right, let's see. Hmm. Maybe we can get the ant queen down. So we can get some powerful ants going. That'll be a real treat. Okay. Now these ants are gonna start tearing things up. Okay, I guess it's time for our mantis to uh, make its debut. Take out the elk fawn before it gets strong. Nice. Hey wizard, no problem for uh, coming in now. I'm just glad to see you. How are you doing? Uh, let's see. Could go to woodcarver, but I think I'm more tempted to try to get a card. There we go. That's something at least. Oh, health boost. Who might need that? I'm doing well. Nice to see you. Got corpse maggots, ant queen, and mantis. And our beehive. It could generate bees for us. I think I'll go with the beehive. Because if we could get four bees out of this, that's, that's a lot of stuff to distract the enemy with. It buys me time. Okay. Alright, burrower. Okay. And we've got a coyote and a porcupine. Hmm. Well. Could save up and try to get something down, but feeling like that may be a hard choice since they're going to do three damage right off the bat. So let's play our bullfrog over here in a lane where it's not going to get hit. Maybe that'll balance things out. I think I'm going to pull a tooth as well. There we go. Okay. And now I could try to take out the coyote. Um, and that'll be kind of our larger threat gone. I wish I didn't have to sacrifice our other guy for it, but we'll do it. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, thanks, Wizard. Um, I'm always glad to have a good audience. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I think it's time for our Ant Queen to come out. We can use her to block some of our damage. And we'll do that in front of one of the porcupines. I think that'll be enough that we will um, be in the safe spot from now on. Fortunately, we're going to lose our um, ant queen, so we'll play this worker ant boosted and get rid of the sparrow meanwhile. And that's okay. I think that next turn we should be able to win. Oh, one additional turn. I was off by one. We'll play the stoat just to uh, help get some excess damage on the board. Nice. Okay. Well, we don't have a ton of teeth to trade, so um, how many items do I have? I think I cleared them all out. Um, let's see. What do we have? We could advance at fires. We'll we'll go this route. It's a little bit shaky, but not horrible. Um, let's get another canine. Bloodhound. Okay. I will take it. Alright. What do we want to do? Health, health, health. Um, 
Having an ant queen, it could last a really long time. It's nice, but I think I'm gonna go with the mantis. Uh, there we go. That way it'll last a while. Kind of hoping to get another nice uh, multi-directional mantis powerhouse like I had in the previous fight. Alright, another health boost. Um, well, could do something like the Ant Queen, but I feel like another basic unit could use it, like say the Stoat, just so that we have something cheap on there that has a lot of health power. Oh, I got greedy and I lost my card. Seems to be doing that to me a little bit more often than not lately. Okay, I feel like it's like 75% chance you'll lose it all if you go for that second time. I wish we could keep the cards that we get from the pack mule um, in this match. That'd be so cool. But alas, we don't get to keep them. Alright. Let's see. We'll put smoke down and we'll just wait a turn so that we can um, get the ant queen down. Okay, and actually we could send out the bullfrog to take out the coyote since it's so weak for this, um, you know, first boss version of the um, prospector. And I guess we should put down a bloodhound to get some damage on the board and hopefully take out the coyote quickly and or the pack mule. It'll hit it pretty hard, but I don't think it'll totally eliminate it. Okay. And let's see what we have here. Ah, the beehive. We can start generating a bee or two. That'll be good for uh, phase two. There we go. And what's coming up next? A mole. I think we'll just stay here and wait. Because uh, I'm about to get into the next phase. There we go. That's plenty. Another bee. <laughs> and they auto deploy too. Isn't that great? <laughs> Perfect. It's hilarious it's sitting on the RB. <laughs> I just love all the different ways um, little tricks happen in this game. Play as a cockroach. Okay. Um, could get corpse maggots on the board and take out the coyote. That's kind of hilarious. And. Um, could put down a stinky skunk, and that will deprive the uh, bloodhound a little bit. So let's do that. Okay. Now we're down to just squirrels, but I think it, we're gonna get it. Here we go. We're gonna win a match using corpse maggots. play our mantis if we really want to. Gotta get out there and get some experience on the uh, battleground. Okay. Nice. Get on out of here, Prospector. We're done with you. You're finished. Alright, Ouroboros and Mantis God. Hmm. Really like the Ouroboros. So I want to try to get it and maybe combine its sigil with a Mantis God later on. Um, that would be really cool if it could come back and be reused. Alright. Let's see. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and try to get its sigil put on something else. Or Burroughs does come back stronger though, and I'm not sure if putting on killable on other things necessarily works, so um Hmm. 
I guess let's go... Do I have enough teeth? I might have enough teeth to get one or two pelts. Let's just go this route and see what happens. Kind of need items. Another beehive. What would this give me? A beehive of six if we combine them. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of potential bees. Um, wild bull. This feels like a wolf and a different... You know, with a sigil added, so... I guess we'll go with the beehive. Getting a couple of bees could be handy. Alright, teeth pull or airborne. I think the fan helps and the black goat. Alright, let's knock the teeth out of them. Let's get a whole bunch so that we can uh, trade for some pelts. Kingfisher and a beehive. We put our own beehive down or it will just auto deploy. Um, same thing with the corpse maggots, so maybe I should just save up a turn and uh, go from there. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw. And we've got another squirrel so we can get our Ouroboros on the mine. Okay, and I think that's about the best we can do. Alright. So, let's see. Beehive won't be affected by those guys, so I think that we just have to keep going, but unfortunately, Ouroboros is going to do one damage and they're going to net a damage on me so I'm not sure if I'll be able to survive this um, it's kind of a tricky situation to be in right now let me see the beehive I don't think is going to block the kingfisher um, now if I did play corpse maggots which I don't have enough bones to knock the beehive that may have been a wiser decision so Let's uh, see what happens. May just have to give this match to the AI. Okay. And let's draw from here. Alright, the bullfrog adds a little bit to the game. Um, not a ton, but a little bit. So it would block their attack. Um, or we could put damage over there and be blocking that coyote coming down is going to be a problem, of course. But we could have the corpse maggot um, block it, I think. So let's just keep it going, I suppose. Okay. And we're going to need to just draw from here, I suppose. All right, a mantis. Um, now the mantis has the bi bifurcated, so it could strike two things at once and could let the Ouroboros go and instead have this guy attacking in two directions and get a bee out of it all. So I think that, well, actually the bullfrog is gonna get overwhelmed by the coyote so let me just do this here and I don't have enough yet to play the corpse maggots but I could spin the bones and have it do that and we may come out of this okay actually because we just got a bee okay all right good the Ouroboros is leveled up as well. So, let's see. Apparently, I guess since bees don't have blood, we can't sacrifice um, for our other card. But, let's see. Could put this down so the Ouroboros would get hit enough to die. But, I think getting rid of our beehive is a better idea. Um... 
We're gonna get one damage, two damage, that's out, and then a third, so I think it might break even actually, funny enough. Okay. Now another river otter is heading our way. Ah, we could get an ant queen started. Um, let's see. She does have three hit points. Um, I could get the Ouroboros going, though. Let's see. I think we'll do this and play another B. And we'll go from there. Okay, or a Burris will do some excess damage, but let's see. All right, Bloodhound. I think it, we're gonna be a little bit stuck, we, but it does have air blocking, so that would stop the Kingfisher and the Guardian ability, so. Let's see, do I have another B? I do, so I can replace that B that's over there. I think this makes sense. There we go. Okay, excellent. That was just enough extra power to make a difference. Good, good. Okay. Well, I guess I will just load up on rabbit pelts. We won't get to see them too often with the pricier pelts. It's uh, pretty rough. All right. Ah, oh, stinky. Perfect. We'll get our stinky dogs on the case, and then we'll try to get another insect head, perhaps. I'm not getting a lot of insects in my hand, though, so I may have to uh, do something else. All right, stinky dog, right away. Um, fantastic. So, I guess let's get us a uh, bullfrog on the board to take out one of those kingfishers. We'll block the coyote's initial attack with the help. Uh, I don't know why the price is on the knife. I've been wondering about that, and I'd like to look it up. I wonder if it's the number of uh, teeth you have perhaps to spend because I noticed one time when I had a whole bunch of teeth it said 18 and uh, I can't remember if that's how many I had but I just remember the number being really high so that might have been that might be how many teeth you have to spend okay um, they're gonna get some damage on the board let's see another three and I kind of just had to wait where I could get the bloodhound out right away by uh, spinning our goat. So I think I'm going to have to do something like that. Okay. R.I.P. Bullfrog. Good. Bloodhound blocked our river otter problem. And let's see, we can almost play our Ouroboros, um, but I think that we'll need to wait or else we're going to get overwhelmed by the coyote and everything else. <laughs> Alright, good. Now the Bloodhound should take out that lane, I think. Um, let's see, I think it was a river otter over there, so if I got the Ouroboros put down and it dies. That'll make it stronger. We kind of want that to happen, so we'll let it happen. Good. Perfect. Alright, good. So the corpse maggots will take over and we got us a stronger Ouroboros, so that's nice. 
Okay. Um, well, we could go ahead and play the Ouroboros and I think just about get this over with. Alright, nice. I could have waited, um, but it's going to take a lot of turns to level up the Ouroboros again. <laughs> Alright, a Mantis. So, could combine it with another one, so let's just go for it. And a duplication event. Um, I think I'm, let's see how many items I have, just the one. I think that I'll save items until maybe up there. But there's also that, so is there a card I really need to duplicate? Um, there is an Ouroboros, which I can make really strong, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, actually I think there is a place for the code. Um, this over here, I don't know if there's actually, let's see, 273, I don't know if it actually gives you anything inside of this mode, but maybe so. I think I remember hearing there's supposed to be some extra items in this game. Well, here's something. Uh, no clue what that is. <laughs> okay, then. I need to look up how to unlock the other items, because I think there's maybe two or three new ones for this mode and I just never got around to it because I was hoping to discover it naturally but it's been a while so I might just give in to the temptation all right duplicate event I guess getting that stronger mantis duplicated makes a lot of sense I'm not sure it almost looked like a bunch of meat I'm not positive but it looks almost like ground beef or something <laughs> Let's do our mantis. So if we get that combined, we could have us a mantis with two attack power and six health. And, you know, that's pretty nice. All right, kingfisher and a coyote. Hmm. Guess let's get our beehive in front of the coyote. Get us a couple bees that we can feed to the kingfisher if we have to. Okay. Um, let's see. We got a sparrow that's coming in and it's airborne as well. Um, we really need to get stuff on the board. I think having the Ouroboros can help with that. So let's go for it. All right. Or a bro should wipe out that lean too. So that's good. Okay. Ah, an ant queen. Excellent. And I don't think there's anything else I can do, so we'll just have to make that deal and run with it. Okay. Let's see. Um Ouroboros is going to be taking a big hit. We've got four damage about to happen here, so we need to, I guess, throw down our rabbit pelt and keep going. Alright, come on Ouroboros. You can do it, bud. I'm about to got have a uh, ant queen that will clear up this coyote problem we're having, and um, a worker ant to join it here soon. There we go. Good. And those airborne can really uh, work some damage on you if you're not careful. You gotta keep an eye on them at all times. They're just constantly chipping away at your defenses, you know. There we go. We'll get us a decent amount of excess damage. All right, um, cave event or getting items, um, sacrificing. I have only the corpse maggots that require a bone, and I can sacrifice something, but just always it's hard to do that. Let's go to the cave event though, because there's so many powerful cards in these that I hate to miss the opportunities. Six health, three sigils, and two of a kind. 
three sigils. There's always a chance I'll draw a bunch of pelts though. So that's rough. How many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's pretty good. Two of a kind. We got a couple of kind there. Um, I have a whole lot of insects. I think our chances are good there. A couple of dogs. I think that's our best thing. Let's do two of a kind. Okay, good. I think we passed it. Excellent. All right, cuckoo with bifurcated attack and grow stronger. Um, rabbit hole and bees within. That's fascinating. And bees within and a cuckoo egg breed parasite with the river otter. Huh. Well, that seems to kind of undo itself since having the egg block the lane wouldn't allow, um, you know, bees within to generate anything. Um, this would generate a lot, so we would get a rabbit and possibly two bees out of it. So that's pretty great. I do like the idea of stealing this cuckoo's um, bifurcated attack and sigil so that we could put it on one of these and get a mantis god in the next turn. Um, I think that I'll take the cuckoo. All right, who are we going to sacrifice? Hmm. Well, I assume you can't sacrifice an Ouroboros. Um, let me see if that does something or if it actually just takes it out right, because that would really stink to sacrifice it and it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> let me see. <laughs> One second. Sacrifice altar. We gotta figure out how this works. Be really cool if uh, doing the Ouroboros does something special. I'm not seeing anything. It kind of looks like it will just kill any card, so um, I better do something that's not my favorite um, instead. I guess we'll go with the Bullfrog. It's kind of rough since it's my only, one of my only one blood. No, I've got a couple, actually. I think it'll be okay to let it go. Alright, come on, Bullfrog. It's your time. Goodbye. Thank you for the bone token. Okay. Somebody to make stronger. How about... Hmm. Well, we could try powering up one of these mantises so that um, if we combine it here, we have a four and four. So I think we'll try it. And we will back away. Don't want to get greedy. We uh, learned our lesson with that a couple of times today. <laughs> so, let's see. Alright, this will be hard as a second boss, but we'll see what we can do. Got a Kingfisher incoming right away. Um, and of course we can't take it out. So having a stinky bloodhound would, um, you know, power it down, so that's nice. But I think we'll just play our Mantis and we'll get four damage right off the bat, so we may be able to win this in two turns, um, no problem. And if the bait bucket lands in front of it, it won't hurt anything as well. So that would be a win, win, win. There we go. Okay, 
Well, we may win this just fine. Actually, the Mantis is going to hit the bait bucket to the left. I should put a smoke further away. Um, but I can put a Bloodhound down, and it'll have enough power between it using Stinky and uh, the Mantis hitting it that I think we'll be okay. Um, I could wave the fan, and that'll give us enough to win without having to worry about it. And if I get the Ant Queen started, I could have just done that and not wasted the fan, but that's okay. Good. Alright, let's see what kind of good card we can get. Gek, um, Child 13, it's interesting, but I think I'll hold back on it for now. The, uh, the Gek is good, but an Amalgam for a little bit more firepower I think is going to be my choice. Alright, so we could get tempted to go to the right so we can get something that takes bone because I always feel like you should have maybe two bone cards to have a chance. We didn't get that, but we did get us a three blood with a lot of power, so that's something. Alright, an item restock. Let's do, I guess, a squirrel. Okay, and I don't think I have, or actually I do have three pelts that I could trade in. So it is tempting to go that way while we still have a chance. There is a duplication event up there though, however. And that's probably the last one I'm going to have the chance to do. So I could get more cards or duplication in a cave event. Um, that might be a wiser choice. Let's see what we could do. Could get an amalgam for this uh, really wild cuckoo situation copied. Maybe we'll go for that since it has a lot of sigils on it. Maybe it's going to be a tough fight. I always dislike the quills ability. That's tough. And a turkey vulture nonetheless. Let's just get our um, mantis on there and it's going to get four damage on the board right away. So it may be just fine. Okay, um, of course that was a waste of the rabbit pelt, um, because that's an airborne, but, oh well. Oof, okay, um, might have to play the beehive in front of the mantis when we get a chance. Let's do it here though, since that elk is coming in, and... I think I want to have to cut the card if I want to have a chance of winning because of that turkey vulture um, doing its airborne damage. Is this going to be too much? Okay. Now we have us a bee. The bee can take out our elk pawn issue. Um, oh, we could get the Ouroboros down. Let's see. Mantis will take out that. B will be waiting for the alpha. Um, or we could just go ahead and get our Ouroboros in place and think that it'll be fine. Here we go. Okay. Oh, and now I have a stinky wolf. Um, let's keep it going. Nice. Okay, well I had to use my pair of scissors, but that's just the way it goes. Alright, bones, sigils, and health. Um, let's go with sigils. I won't take too long to consider it because I'm eager to see what happens. We got to run away with our cuckoo. That's excellent. Heck yeah, we passed. Passed it in a big way. Um, 
An unkillable great white. Wow. Filled mouse with ant spawner. Um, that's pretty nice. So that could be something to play along with the ant queen. And it's a guardian and a wild bull that's made of stone, mean to the effects of touch of death and stinky. Ah, and it has rabbit hole too. I feel like all three of these you kind of can't go wrong because great whites are so strong and if it's unkillable that's pretty wicked and we have a black goat we can use um so yeah all right who are we going to duplicate um we can i think this cuckoo makes the most sense because if we get a chance to sacrifice it or do a fungus event um to have a stronger cuckoo we might have a really powerful situation here kind of looks like we're gonna have neither though unfortunately all right moose bucket's gonna come in and do a lot of damage um i suppose generating a beehive makes sense it'll give us something else it can hit in the next turn so We'll just roll with it. Okay. And that elk fawn's gonna come down here in a moment. So let's draw from here and get us a wolf. That's nice. It's gonna obliterate the wolf, unfortunately. Um, but we do have stinky, and even that's not enough to get rid of it though. So let's see. Maybe having the wolf put damage down this lane first would make the most sense. And uh, we can have a bee take that initial hit. Um, yeah, I'd have to use up those, and I really don't want to, so... Let's, uh... Well, I don't know why I'd keep the beehive, though. So let's just do something like this. Oh, the mole man. Forgot about it. That's probably going to be a big oof. Um, let's see. Alright, a stinky bloodhound. Now, if I played it in combination. Uh, let's see. I'm still not going to have enough because we're going to get two and three on the board. Um, bloodhound wouldn't block the uh, raven anyways. Um, how much damage? We only need two damage. So I think that this is just going to be a loss, unfortunately. Um, let me double check this, but man, they really came at me pretty hard out of the blue. So Bloodhound going down here. I mean, it would get the two damage on the board and negate that. So I could play this out of desperation. I'm still thinking it's not going to be quite right, but we'll try. It is stinky though, so it does reduce the damage by one. Um, let's try it out. There we go. Good. I think I might still have a small chance here. Uh, let's see. It's got to be something out of here. Alright, of course maggots can block that guy. And we can block our elk fawn for a turn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. It wasn't enough. Let's keep going. Alright. So seven. Let's see. I do think that... Let's see. We've got three, six, seven. It looks like eight to me. So I can't be buying that. I only have enough. I have eight um, rabbit pelts. So yeah, I, I don't know what the price tag saying seven is. It's weird. All right, power up or items. I guess I should go for items since I um, just ran out of all of it. Let's do the possum card cut and another card cut. Being able to get rid of two of the enemy's cards sounds like a real nice setup. Ah, two elk fawns coming in. So we've got a 
crazy cuckoo we could play. It's bifurcated. Um, let's go for that. That'll be fun to see it get more powerful too. And our mantis will come in maybe next turn. Okay. And <laughs> the elder cuckoo. Um, we could do this mantis and it'll take out that lane. We'll get four, four, six. I think that it'll be a winning strike on this turn. Here we go. Okay, excellent. Good combo. Ah, let's see. Moosebuck, Duplicate, a Raven that I don't have, or a Bat. I think we'll do Bat since it's a Bone Consumer. And I have a Fabled um, Fungi event upcoming, so I gotta do that. Or a Sigil Swap. And I think Sigil Swap might be one of the final boss area things I could do. Or a Power Up. Um, I think I do need to go this route because I never did get a nice woodcutter setup, so hopefully we'll get us something good. Ah, oh, ant spawner. Perfect. Um, or item. Hmm. Well, either of these sound pretty good. Unfortunately, they're only going to happen with my canine heads. So I've got one. Amalgam counts as the second one. I got the bloodhound, the third. So I think I only have three cards that it would apply to, unfortunately. Um, I don't have a lot of reptiles. I think Amalgam may be my only one. But, hmm. I really didn't end up with the ants like I thought I would. So maybe sticking with Stinky or even Item would be best. Just wondering if Item is going to be too rare to make a difference or too situational. Let's go with Stinky, I guess. Man, if I had had an insect head, that would have been like the perfect situation, I think. All right, who are we gonna duplicate? Or combine, rather. Could get us our really crazy cuckoo set up. Um, Mantis is combined, it's another thing, but I, uh, I just don't know if it's worth it. Having them attack in two directions is pretty nice. Um, but the cuckoo only costs one blood, so having two separate cuckoos sounds like a better deal. They're also blocking attacks. So let's do our mantis, because that's going to be a really strong mantis. It's going to be four and four. Or, oh, three and four. I must have uh, misread. I thought it was two and two, but... No, nope, it was one and two, I think. I got excited looking at the numbers. All right, hopefully I can save the scissors and get past this. Um, I might cut one of these traps open though, because they are really frustrating. Um, and we can get us a beehive to start generating um, sacrificial bees. So let's do that. And use our rabbit pelts as well. Okay, excellent. Six damage, Mantis, yeah. It's gonna be great. I really hope it works out. Um, let's, let's do this, I think. Alright, another bee. We've got our uh, mantis, so as soon as we get rid of that, we can then hit these sides um, with it, and I think that that will be a very nice situation to be in. Okay, so let's see. We've got us a bee. We'll go ahead and save up a squirrel, and we'll sacrifice this bee for the mantis because it should survive the uh, leaping traps, I believe. Okay, um, we'll lose our beehive, unfortunately, but it'll be a worthy sacrifice, I think. Okay, plus we had a bee that gets auto-deployed, so that's great. Alright, now 
now we have us a cuckoo. Um, I don't see any problem with putting it in this lane to uh, block off our advancing adder. There we go. And uh, yeah, that should be it. Oh, I didn't realize that mantis could hurt the uh, thing as well. Ah, I should have thought about the cuckoo um, having that problem hitting the other one side like it did. That's tough. Okay. Um, we should be alright though. We did get us a couple of pelts back and our elder cuckoo is going to um, break an even pace with our raven enemy here. Actually, it's going to exceed it by two. And now there's an elk. It's about to be put down, so that's not good. Um, if I do a card cut, we could get rid of the raven now, or we'll break even, I think, with our cuckoo. So we um, could play a pelt or try to save it. Let's just play the possum and I think that, that will block our elk long enough that we don't have to worry about it. Good. I think that this is going to pace out just right. Good. Okay. Now I should be able to draw one of my other mantises, I think, really soon. Ooh, a bifurcated great white. Um, it's a lot of power. It'd be hard to play. Or a moose buck, it's going to get stronger. That's pretty fearsome. Oh man, these are all tough. And a rattler that is going to be moving around. And a stinky coyote. Um, well, let's see. kind of like the idea of keeping the cuckoo where it's at. So getting rid of this lane may make the most sense to start. And then this bloodhound that can kill in one hit. And a bifurcated great white. Um, wasn't a perfect thing, but Elder Cuckoo should do make sense damage and get rid of the Rattler, so if we can get something to stand up against the Grizzly for a while, um, we may be okay. So let's start off with maybe this Stinky Coyote. Um, well, even if we do that, a Grizzly is still going to come down and take it out, so that would be rough. How about... Hmm. We can play that Great White just to get all that damage in one hit. That would be pretty sweet because it would weaken the Grizzly a lot. How many squirrels do we have? One, two. Alright. Well, let's just play this bat and that'll take off some of the initial heat here. There we go. Didn't have to worry about it because I had enough damage anyways. I think I was just counting too much. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Uh, let's see. Child 13, a strange larva, and a douse. Let's do... Strange larva. We can get it to survive um, long enough in our final boss fight here. We'll be in really good shape, I think. All right, what do we have? I guess we should consider pelt trading the most. Um, Woodcarver is just a real big unknown. We're only short one item. And as far as sigil swaps go, I just don't know if I have one that I really, really want to do. I wonder if you can double up bifurcated so that it would like double double attack. That would be really neat. I have no idea if it works that way or not though. Okay, um, let's see. I do have just this plain mantis that's sitting here though that could be put on say the Ouroboros or something that get a lot of attack power. It has been boosted a time or two. The duplicate has. Um, I think I'll do 
a trade here and hopefully I'll get enough interesting and strong cards to uh, make it worth it. Wow, I have a lot of cards in my hand, so let's go with War Grant, Warren, um, Wolf Cub, and I guess Kingfisher, Rattler, and Porcupine. Hopefully that doesn't uh, water down my deck to where it's like too weak, you know, to uh, compete with what they're about to throw at me. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Cuckoo getting something in front of the Malcolm right away sounds like a great idea. So let's uh, strive for that real quick. Okay. And we'll hold off on using the smoke. Um, cutting the Mole Man sounds like a good idea to get past this phase more quickly. And that'll be it. Okay, and he's gonna start hitting my cards. Um, so I really don't know if playing anything other than say maybe the smoke makes sense. Um, hmm. We'll just draw another card. Thank you. I, I hope I can take them out too, because this is always a, a really tough one, you know. Let's uh, check it out. Okay, so that Mantis isn't going to be able to bust through those for a turn. Um, that's excellent. And when the Amalgam comes down, I could cut it, or I could cut the um, Mantis God. So a wolf would almost survive, but not quite, unfortunately. And the Bloodhound, similar story. Well, it does have Stinky on it, so it would survive the Amalgam's attack and be able to take it out, but then that Mantis God would get it. So I think maybe putting it over in this lane, or the wolf in that lane, may be a wiser choice. Um, but, however, I can't get rid of the first phase if I just play something, so let's, let's do our Stinky Bloodhound. Okay, and we'll hold on and wait for this to turn. Okay, first candle is out. Oh yeah. Here comes the tough stuff. Oh, here comes our angler situation. So we need to push something out of the way. Um, I guess it's time to have them pull this and I'm tempted to say let's go ahead and snip um, one of these cards but I'm a little bit concerned that Mantis is definitely going to do damage right away so maybe I should take it out. It's really low damage but it's just enough to you know make an impact on these things. Alright, Kevin is coming in. And it switched spots, which is not ideal. So that Bloodhound's gonna kill the squirrel, but not uh, Tamara here. <laughs> um, wow, this David character has a lot of hit points. Um, and this has a slippery tail, too. So if I attack it with the wolf, it's just gonna run away. So. Um, it's going to be moving around anyways, though, so I might as well work on getting rid of it, I suppose. Okay, that's going to put a lot of power down in front of me, but um, the dog, Bloodhound, should take out somebody, I think. And fortunately, I think I've come to the end of my line here. I don't have enough to 
defend myself. Um, the Bloodhound will take that out, but they're going to do four damage on me, so it looks like game over, fortunately. Oh, I get to trade. I guess I got just enough. So, what would I possibly do here? Um, could get the Porcupine, since it costs this one blood to play. And, let's see. There is another Bloodhound, but I don't know if getting it on the board would make a big enough difference. So... David being spiky. It's kind of a nice treat though. Let's see, a porcupine. It's only gonna do one damage though. And David or Kevin will kill it. And they do more damage, so let's take Man, hard choice. Um I guess we're gonna have to take David and Let's see, is he going to do his attack? Yeah, it didn't matter anyways. I thought it was going to let me have another turn. Ah, oh, man. That was so hard. But that's the furthest I've got on uh, this since winning that first Casey's run quite a few streams ago. So we're just going to have to hold on to that progress. But, man, these runs just keep getting so close to perfection but barely missing it. We'll try it again next time. Thanks for watching. This has been S Tier Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank, and I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good one.